Alrighty guys, welcome back. This is the schematic and pages, schematic pages and hierarchy section, which is unit uh, three as part of the schematic module inside the KiCad course, which is of course part of contextual electronics. No surprises there, but that is a interesting uh, coincidence being that that is an example of hierarchy, all those different levels. So let's look at how that can actually be applied to schematics and schematic pages. Let's open up KiCad in the EE schema uh, schematic editor. All right, so blank project like usual. Now, first off, we need to talk just a bit quickly about the, the differences in how you're actually doing schematics. There's two different ways. You can have a hierarchical schematic, which is what we're really going to focus on here. And then you can have a flat schematic. And both have their advantages and disadvantages. Uh, you know, personally, I've always done flat schematics, but KiCad is really built for hierarchy, in my opinion. I mean, it's it's a prominent feature. It's uh, you know, it it just it it just seems like it's built for hierarchy, and it's neither right nor wrong. Um, but in the like I said in the past, I've I've had it so that I'm I'm more used to having different pages and and just having a flat schematic. But uh, so let's look at the since it is ba made a little bit more shaded towards hierarchy. Let's look at how we actually start building this. So first off, we're actually going to go over here on the right, and we're going to create a hierarchical sheet. Or sorry, hierarchy sheet. Oh, hierarchical. <laughs> yes. All right, so and uh, instead of clicking and dragging, you just click once, and then I'll actually create a box here. And then, uh, and then it's going to ask you about what you actually want to call it, and then what you want to call the file name. And the thing to notice here is that it actually does create an entirely separate schematic sheet for each sub-circuit. So let's call this uh, op amp. Assuming we were just going to put an op amp, uh, ah, but a preamp. We'll call it preamp instead. That's a little bit more high level. We want to be able to have, you know, this is going to be like you're gonna, if you're creating modules inside a circuit, you want to encapsulate all of the functions of that module inside a hierarchical sheet. At least that's how I, I normally do it. I mean, you're free to do it however you like, but that's how I normally do it. We're going to keep the size the same, and then we're going to name the sheet just preamp. And that usually matches there. All right, we created that. See as we zoom in, that we actually uh, it matches up here. It shows the file, it shows preamp, and it should be all in the same place uh, as the top level schematic. All right, so now we have a hierarchical symbol. Uh, so if we made a couple of these, we would actually then link them together at the top level, and I'll show that in a little, little bit later. But to actually access this separate schematic, what we do is right-click, and then we say Enter Sheet. All right, pretty simple. And now if we go down here, we see the sheet actually shows it kind of like a, uh, a Unix-based file system where it's slash preamp. If we made another hierarchical symbol here, then it would be slash preamp slash, you know, transistor front end or something like that whatever you're whatever you're creating in the next level down like I said I'm used to more flat schematics so I, I tend to just have this as a simpler you know um, a sim simpler way of showing how you're gonna actually split up your schematic into you know big blocks but if you really want to make things very specific and small you can you can keep dividing down into uh, hierarchies all the way down to the bottom so let's actually start adding pins now. And so this is actually, it calls it labels, but really what this really is, is going to be an, a pin to actually interface to the other levels above you. And so let's just call this uh, audio input, right, if we're going to do preamp for, for this example here. And then this looks similar to the pin dialog. So we're going to say uh, orientation to the right, and then we'll say it's an input. We'll hit OK. Oh, that's actually backwards than what I wanted. See, that right-left always gets me. All right, so audio input. Input here. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> that is what I wanted. <laughs> uh, I'm confusing the top level and the bottom level here. One more time. Right. Audio input. All right. So we can see that this actually looks like it's a pin coming into the page here. So if we were going to uh, create a quick uh, quick circuit here, we'll go into linear. Let's use our favorite LM324. We'll drop a uh, symbol here. We're not actually going to use, but uh, 
we'll just uh, create a simple buffer, which is not a great idea just if you're using this as a preamp, but still. All right, and then we'll hook this up, and we're good to go. And we can create power and everything else there. Junction. All right. There we go. And let's get rid of that junction there. All right. So now we did <laughs> we did minimal signal processing, but uh, still we'll show this as something coming through. So this is an input signal here, and then we want to make the same thing as an output out here, so we can actually push it back up to the top level of this hierarchical symbol. So let's actually uh, well let's look at the so we know that this is a, a way of doing it here, creating a label. But we can also hit the question mark key, which actually brings up our hotkey. And then we can uh, add a hierarchical label. We see it's, if you hit H, that'll actually create a new one. Oops, H. And we know we want left, output, audio, out. All right. We see that that shows it as an output pin. And of course, oh, I'm doing well here today. Got to get the uh, juices going here. All right. Oops. Wire. Double click. Move the symbol. Bounce over. Hit M. And we're good to go. All right. We have buffered input to output. Now, if we want to actually move up a level, then we can right-click, leave sheet, and we don't actually see any of the symbols here yet. So what we need to do is we actually need to pull in those symbols from the lower level. What we do is we come over here, place a hierarchical pin, right-click, or left-click, sorry, click inside the actual hierarchical box, and then you see it actually pull, it just automatically pulls, pulls the first one that it sees. So, and then as you move your mouse around, you see it actually allows it to, uh, it jumps from side to side. Because if you're creating a symbol, you know, you could have an arbitrary right to left if you wanted to. Person, my personal preference is I usually do left to right in terms of uh, input to output. So we'll leave that there. We'll click again. It shows audio output. And now what we can do is if we were going to actually, uh, you know, create a couple of these, then we could uh, mouse over. Actually, let's just right click. We can, uh, oh, sorry. Wire here. And wire here. And that actually allows us to then hook up to another sheet we could have over here. So that is, that is the main benefit of pages here. Now, another thing to notice, though, is the actual labeling system inside of EE schema. So if we wanted to actually label this input here, we could do that on a local level, right? We can mouse over here, we could see the net name, or we can just hit L and that'll just create a label here. So we could just say, you know, audio one, let's just give it a generic name. And that actually names this, this green net here. Now audio one on the net list is actually going to show up as audio one connecting to audio input, then it dives down inside the schematic or inside the hierarchical sheet, and then it'll hook up to that buffer in there, push it back up. And then if we created a label over here, we'll call this audio two. You can see that these are just generic, generic labels, right? However, in flat schematics and even in hierarchical schematics, the thing to be careful of is if we actually created a global label, and they show a little warning here as well. We can actually create a global label. And this looks similar to the pins that we were showing inside the hierarchical schematic as well. We can call this maybe uh, enable, right? Very generic symbol. But uh, let's move this, rotate. All right, we change the rotation. And without actually connecting it to the top level of the hierarchy, we actually can pull, we can dive down into the sheet as we did before, and then we can create the same symbol down here. And because it's global, this is effectively the same as actually creating this hierarchical pin and then hooking it up at the top level. 
And so that's something to be very careful of because if you're going to be creating multiple uh, hierarchical blocks and actually, you know, hooking up with similar names inside, right? If you have a generic name like enable, which is never a good idea, you always want to have very unique names, unique and yet, you know, simple and easily easy to recall. Uh, similarly, audio input, audio out are not great names for nets. Um, but if, if you had the same name as enable down here and you thought this was just local to this hierarchical sheet and then on another sheet you put in an enable pin, well, you're going to actually create that in the net list and then once you move over to layout, it's going to say, well, you know, these two pins inside each hierarchical sheet are actually supposed to be hooked up and that's going to give you a lot of issues because you'll end up hooking up signals you don't want necessarily hooked up. So that's just important to remember. First off, name your signals properly. Second off, be careful with global labels. If you're going to do them like this, just know that uh, it will hook up to anything else in the schematic. That could be what you want, but if you're using hierarchies, it's probably not. Uh, and it makes things just a little bit messier. All right, so that is a quick overview of hierarchies. If you have any other questions, you can post them in the forum. You can post them in the comments. And we'll see you next video.